Uh, Commonwealth Games was chaotic as here's the last 17k or so. A break is on the way, sort of, I don't know, getting caught-ish. G's there, Ben Turner, Aaron Gate, and the rider for South Africa as well. It's a pretty strong group. Uh, England had like three riders, so they had Watson, uh, Turner, and Fred Wright. Darren Lempy was there, Luke Plapp, Garen Thomas, Aaron Gay, as I previously said. Finn Crockett and Sean Flynn for Scotland. There's a Canadian lad as well, but he got spat. Sam Colwell for Guernsey, uh, as well as Matthew Tegger for Northern Ireland. So G goes again here. G had to close a lot of gaps today. He did not get... Uh, he was marked a lot. So you can see here the, the same sort of four going away, but this time it's Daryl Limpy instead of the other South African rider. And the ma the main thing from this race was that people wanted to chase stuff down. It was crazy. Like, there was a, uh, a previous break where people chased it down. You know, like, there's like four uh, four riders, three of the teams represented. But again, you can see the the break gets caught here. Um, Luke Platt doing a lot of work to bring it back um, on his own. G again on his own as well. England really should have dominated this race more than they did. Um, however, they did, you know, mark a lot of moves. It's just they didn't necessarily have one sole leader, which was the hard thing. Uh, ben Swift was here for the Isle of Man as well. However, he was away. So Luke Platt then attacked, followed by, um, followed by <laughs> Fred Wright, sorry. Um, this didn't really get much leash. South Africa chasing. And the thing was, if Darren P didn't make the move, the other lad for South Africa was just going to pull everything back. So it did make it really hard. You basically had an English rider with Darren MP and then you would get away. Anyway, Fred Wright attacks here again. Matthew Taggart follows. This again doesn't do much. Matthew Taggart looked really strong, but then when he was in a break, I think he, he didn't always pull and then it got brought back or, you know, it's just fair enough. He's a quantity lad with World Tour guys. Like, obviously you're not going to pull. Why would you? Like, in this situation, maybe because you might get a medal, but he was in a previous situation with four and he didn't do it. Anyway, Sam Watson decides... Yeah, let's just go. And now I think this is a really good move or a really bad move. It's a good move if it works and he stays away, but it's a bad move because he is a good sprint and probably is the best sprinter on the English team. So having him up the road, if you get if he gets brought back, not ideal. Launches it around the corner, out the saddle, flying. And you can see that Sam Caldwell for Guernsey launches across. Now, Sam Caldwell is an absolute monster. He is so, 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 so strong and uh, maybe underrated. I think the commentators didn't really understand who any of these guys were unless they rode in the world tour. Uh, but yeah, he's really strong. So when this go break goes, you're like, okay, well, who is going to chase? And it's Scotland could have chased, which they didn't. And I think that makes sense. Both the guys ride for Conti teams, Sean Flynn and, and Finn Crockett. So basically, even South Africa, Dara MP, you know, going well, won a stage in Suisse. Like, you know, I, I, it's a good tactic. Leave it to them. England, obviously happy. Australia um, with Luke Platt, he's going to do whatever he does. And you can see it's stalling. But it's not stalling that much. They're still going decently quick. And you can see the South African lag goes on the front and goes, right, I'm going to chase this back because ultimately, like, you might as well. Like, what's the downside? You know, Darren MP can't win it at the moment. And if you bring him back, he might be able to. Okay, obviously Aaron Gate and some of the other guys are really strong sprinters, but I think it makes sense. Um, Sam Caldwell has taken a long time to get across. And I think Sam Watson didn't want to make it easy, which I think makes sense. If you can't make it across, you're probably not going to be too much help. So... Really, really strong um, ride from both of these two. Obviously, I'd already made a video about Sam Watson um, two days ago about how strong he is, but this again goes to show he was a late addition. I can't remember whose spot he took, but he wasn't necessarily going to do it 100% um, of the time. <clears throat> but yeah, I think it also goes to show that team sport, because G on this course, it doesn't really suit him, but he's still there. But if he had better team support, then yeah, maybe he could have he could have done more. Um, but anyway, these guys just work hard. South Africa chasing, bring it back. And then with like 1.8k to go, they get brought back. G goes straight over the top. Now this, this I thought could be the move. He's obviously won, I think it was in 2010 or something or nine. I don't know, one of the years he, he has won Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. And um, yeah, really strong performance from him. He closed a lot of gaps, made this move. And to be honest, like as a track rider or previous track rider, it makes sense this move. However, England... Sacrifice Ben Turner for Fred Wright. Probably the right move. I would say Fred Wright is quicker in a sprint. Um, you know, maybe not at the end of like 200k, but this is only three hours long, so probably is Fred Wright. Ben Turner does enough here to make sure that G doesn't get out of sight. Hey, he's not going to bring him back, but he does it enough that, you know, as soon as you start sprinting, it's fine. Like, you'll get him back. So Ben Turner does an absolutely monstrous effort here. He's really, really strong. Um, really strong effort. And, like, the gap is decent at this point, but you're like, yeah, like someone will do it because no one else has teammates, but someone will attack or someone will leave the sprint out too early. So it's not too much of an issue. 
Um, and then Luke Platt decides, look on the right hand side of the screen, Luke Platt decides to go now. And I don't get this. I'm not going to lie from Luke Platt. Um, maybe thought that people would wait on England, but instead Fred Wright basically hops on his wheel. Actually, we'll get into what Fred Wright did wrong. He didn't hop onto his wheel, so he's sort of in the wind now and chasing Luke Platt. And I guess he has to go, you know, he doesn't have a sprint. The camp, the, the people get excited and go to G, but you can see here, Luke Platt's basically just leaving him out. And like, fair enough. But I think the issue is here, Fred Wright leaves a massive gap. He's not actually on his wheel. I think he should have sprinted, done, burn him actually got on his wheel and everyone else would have to. But now he's eating wind, unlike Daryl Lempy. He starts a sprint way too early. Daryl Lempy in his wheel. But look on the right-hand side of your screen. Aaron Gate absolutely flying through the middle. Track sprinter. Big, big watts. And, uh, yeah, delivers the easy W in the end. I will watch the helicopter shot in a minute. But, yeah, Finn Crockett got third after Daryl MP, which is a really good result from Finn Crockett. He should be going World Tour next year. He gets a lot of big results. Um, and here is, like, basically the helicopter shot um, cut, turning up now, sorry. Um, so you can see, like, he wins a decent uh, decent margin. Here's helicopter shot. And, yeah, like, here he's not on the wheel. Um, probably should be. Finn Crockett, fourth wheel, you know, like, is the best wheel on Aaron Gate. And then Daryl MP. I think Daryl MP, to be honest, probably messes it up by following Fred Wright and not realising that he wasn't the quickest. I mean, it's obviously hard to tell, but when Aaron Gate goes here, he doesn't get on his wheel necessarily straight away. He stays on Fred Wright. So he does there, but it's too late. Um, And then Finn Crockett just goes to the right again. So he, uh, you know, I guess he just couldn't, did what he did. But Matt Taggart finished strong as well. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you in the next